Hi, this is Eric from LucidGraphics.com. Today I'm going to make a video on how to install WordPress on your WAMP server. So, first of all, let's go ahead and get started. So, go to WordPress.org, not .com. .com is their uh, self-hosted, uh, where you get kind of a subdomain. It's uh, whatever your name of your blog, .wordpress.com. That's not what we're, that's the, their free um, WordPress. But this is uh, how you actually download the content management system. Go to WordPress.org and you go up here in the right corner says download WordPress and download WordPress there you go save file okay okay this computer just had WAMP server installed on it and just finished the video on how to install that so if you haven't watched that I'll have a link so you can see that as well but okay it's done okay so click on this opens up our folder. Now I just want to drag it out of here. Okay. Yeah, I'm doing this on a friend's machine and he has Windows XP. Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and do some prepping for uh, our WordPress uh, CMS. So, first of all, we need to go into our our uh, PHP my admin so let's just go to localhost here's your local host which you would click on here go to localhost right there and then you go to PHP my admin and this will take you in here and now you want to go to databases create new debate database so we'll call this uh, WordPress uh, we'll just call it WordPress Okay, there we go. Now that is our uh, that is our database. So now we have already created a user um, for our PHP my admin. In our last video, it was root and um, their password was new password. So it's going to be the same here. Okay, so let's go ahead and see if it's finished. Okay, it's finished. So now you want to uh, go into my computer uh, C drive you want to go to the WAMP folder and you want to go to your www dot now this is all stuff uh, used by WAMP but where your files are actually displayed in your projects is in your www dot folder on uh, Windows so uh, that is your index folder now now let's create a folder and we'll call it uh, we'll just call it uh, WordPress there we go. Now I'm going to take this folder and I'm going to drag it in here. Okay. There we go. Now, now that I think about it, I'm actually going to control X. I'm going to put it all right there within the WordPress folder and I'm going to get rid of that extra folder. Okay. There we go. Now we have it right there within our www. in our WordPress folder. So now let's go ahead and how do we get there? So what you want to do is you want to go to your WAMP, go to localhost, and it opens up here. And now that I added a folder, you can see it here. So click on that folder. Now, <clears throat> this is the step-by-step the -step that uh, the, to do the WordPress installation. So this is the first thing you'll see. It says create a config file. So click on that. Okay. And then it's just telling you what you will need, database name, username, and password. In this case, we made our database um, WordPress, all lowercase. And, uh, okay, so let's go. Okay, so database is WordPress. Our username is going to be root. Uh, our password is going to be new password. Okay, and it's going to be local host. And our table prefix doesn't really matter what it is. But we can make it WP or whatever we want, but we'll leave it as WP. Okay, now hit submit. There you go. Now you run the installation. Good. Now let's say the title is, let's say it's going to be, uh, we're going to call this uh, my blog. That's going to be the name of my site. My username will be uh, Eric, and my password will be password Pa password password 
and the email doesn't really matter. So first of all, it says allow searches and index aside. Well, it really can't because it's on your local machine, so it really doesn't matter, but it still needs an email, so okay. And so then I'll just say uh, install WordPress. Sure, let's remember the password. There we go. Success. And then now you can log into your password or you can go back to uh, my blog. So there you go. There's there's uh, my blog with the um, the default theme, which is the, I believe it's the 2014 something. Let's see. So it's, it was Eric and I just did password. Okay. And there you go. You're logged in. And uh, it gave you the default uh, 2014. That's right. Okay. All right. Well, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, subscribe. And as always, till next time.